Told North Cal I'm next up, it ain't no stopping me. I ain't Capola, you hear AA, then it's a robbery. Okay, okay. And then, uh, how did Pittsburgh influence your music too, growing up, seeing shit going on down there? Oh, uh, shit. Um, shout out to Western Conference, Mob Figures. Just uh, being from a small city like Pittsburgh, seeing niggas like the Jacka and just a couple other artists and shit doing shit on a major scale. He just like, just let me know that I could do it too. And just bring some more light to the city because like we actually got more talent than people know. But like I said before, it's all about investing and putting yourself out there. You know what I'm saying? Not staying stationary. Like we got to get out the city. That's what I do. Like I be everywhere. Like yeah. uh, I'll tell you all a quick story. First time I uh, met Hush as an adult. I met him when I was younger too, but first time I met him as an adult, and he like, yeah, bro, Don Stadium, I know who you are, woo woo. He, even though I was mm. from Pittsburgh, because he said, because of the way I move, like I'd be out everywhere, Tahoe, Reno, everywhere. Like you can't stay stationary. So, like I just say to everybody out there, bro, just, just man, invest in your career, bro. Don't stay stationary. So you started rapping way back then, but back then was a different times. So could you compare like the music game in the Bay Area back then to right now? What it's like right now? Ah, uh, shit, well, I mean, when I was younger back then, it was more hyphy movement, punk rock movement, like, uh, you know, just coming together and shit, just go dumb USA type of shit, but uh, now it's more, I feel like it's more street, more popularity, mm. like, more clout chasing, but, I mean, there's also a new skill of niggas with a little quick flow and shit like that, so I just say just... The flow just changed a little bit, but I mean the bass still hype. Yeah, hey, okay. So. so, what do y'all also think about the nine two five music scene in general? Because it's kind of overlooked, huh? Um, I feel I like I don't really think it's overlooked. Okay. I mean, I don't really think it's overlooked. I honestly think there's dope talent. It's just like not enough connections. Everybody buys. I just feel like lack of connections and lack of investment. Like mm. people need to invest in themselves and try to get out there. Like. It's, it's there for the taking, but it's like we can't expect it to be given to us. And, and honestly, the niggas from the 925 who is popping, like you gotta give them their credit instead of just discrediting them because it's like we're from the same area and you wanna be popping. Like there's niggas who just went gold. Shout out Mike Shern. Like you know what I'm saying? Like you gotta give niggas like that they props. You can't just be mad because a nigga went gold and he from your neighborhood. Like you. You gotta move yeah. on, bro. Like, you can go go too, bro. If you got the same motivation, put the same fucking investment in. <laughs> Honestly, I'll put it this way, bro. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. If you're not congratulating, you hate. The simple as that. And you'll never catch me hating, because I don't have to. Yeah, okay. What are we doing right here, too? We got a music video, or what? what man, before we, we get going. What? We celebrating right. Don Stadium, his birthday coming up, man. Oh, we yeah. started off early. And you know, and we got the spring bath, man. We bringing in spring. And you know we got the spring, you know, with the yeah. nice shiny ring. Yep, spring bash, new location, last minute, but we making it happen. And uh, we shooting a video to Ike Turner right now. That's a new, yeah. that's Will's, that's Mac Will's new single. It's dope, it's featuring the nigga Trifling. Gee! Yeah, okay, so, uh, okay. you know what I'm saying? Trifling in this bitch, BRB, you yeah. feel me? 